Hi there, this is Jordan from ProSite Tutorials. Welcome to another video. And in this latest videos, I've been talking about the top five plugins for WordPress. And I've been talking about the ones that I strongly recommend you to use because they will really help you a lot. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a new one, which is called Google XML Sitemap. What exactly is this plugin? Why do you need a sitemap for your website? Well, when you create a website, one of the things that the search engines use, such as Google, is crawlers. Crawlers are small robots that go to each page in your website and they try to find specific keywords so they can know exactly what your website is all about. This is really important for them because it's only that way that they can actually rank your website on a specific listing of their search engines. Okay. So what happens is many times you start really adding a lot of content into your website and after a while it's the crawlers have quite a hard time finding uh, the, your new content and this is really not good for you because you want your content to be indexed by Google and so on so you can start receiving some traffic. So this is why you need to install this plugin because this plugin creates something called a sitemap. A sitemap is basically a page not for people to to actually check it out. It's just for the search engines. This is a page that contains every single link in your website or you could say every single page in your website will be in your sitemap. This way the crawlers can very easily um, see everything that you have in a website. So in other words you will start uh, your website and your new pages will be indexed more quickly and you will receive more traffic because of that. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show to you how to install this plugin and also how to configure some of the options that I consider more important from this pl plugin. Okay, so let's get started. And the first thing that you need to do is simply go to WordPress back office. So you go to your plugin section and you simply press add new over here. Or you can also go immediately to this add new that appears below. In the search box you want to find something called XML sitemap, which is this name over here. And you press search plugins. Okay. And this wide list with many different site maps appears. But the one that I like to use, because I mean you can use others if you want, is this one Google XML site maps. I like this plugin because it's really simple to use. So I'm just going to install now and activate the plugin in my next page over here. So I can start using this. Okay, great. And now you want to configure the settings from this plugin. So you go to settings and you can see that below you have a new section called XML sitemap. You click on it and you will be taken to this new page that has some options which I'm going to explain the ones that I usually change. Because quite honestly the standard options that you have over here are pretty much, uh, you pretty much don't need to change anything. It's pretty much than everything that you need but I'm just going to explain more in detail so you can know exactly what you have over here okay so the URL to your sitemap index file you can see over here this is the link for my sitemap once I click on it you you can see this is the sitemap for my website and this is where the search engines or the crawlers will go later on and they can very easily assess every single uh, page that I have in my website. For example, over here, Procedural Set Map, this over here, once I click on it, you can see the posts that I have in my website. The priority, which is the importance that uh, they are given to, uh, to the this pages. Also, change frequency and last modified. This is the last time that I modified this page on my website. So this is exactly how the same map looks like. Okay, so great. Basic options, I just leave everything checked because, I mean, you want to notify Google about the updates that you receive on your blog. This is really 
why you want to use the said map because you want Google and also Bing as you can see below to send their crawlers the the quickest as possible so that you can index your new content uh, more quickly and I mean new content can also be comments on your blog it's not just uh, your new posts anything has some URL to the virtual robots dot txt file I also check this box I just leave it as it is advanced options is really something that I never actually I really never use this options over here okay um, include sitemap in HTML format I also leave that uh, allow anonymous statics it's something that I also don't use anyway the thing that I consider the most important over here is additional pages let's say that you have like a really old page for some reason it doesn't belong to your WordPress this might be like www.foo.com dash blog so you have a page in your website it doesn't belong to your WordPress website and you want that page to be in your sitemap so that's exactly how you can add uh, that page you go over here and you click on add new page you put your URL which is the domain name for that page let's say this one for example you set the priority to whatever you want nowadays priority is really not the most important thing when it comes to to Google but you might want to set this this pretty much tells that you give more importance to this page in your website okay uh, change frequency this is the number of times that you're you actually update this page you really want to be realistic with this okay if your page is is kind of static it really doesn't receive any updates you might actually want to put never or if it's a page where you're constantly receiving let's say that it's a blog where you're constantly receiving putting new posts and you receive comments and so on you might want to put uh, daily or weekly or something like that okay last change when it, you actually last well last change this page so that's how you can add a page that doesn't belong to your WordPress okay so post priority um, the standard uh, option that comes is common count it uses the number of comments of the post to calculate the priority well I would use this option if you have a blog that is quite famous you you have a blog that your posts are constantly receiving a lot of comments you might want to use actually this option uh, this means that the post where you are receiving a lot of comments has more priority uh, from the other posts that receive le at least okay so this is something that you may want to use but if it, that's not a case then you might want to use do not use automatic priority calculation all posts have the same priority which is defined in priorities okay so they will all have the same priority independently if one post receives more comments than the other common average uses the average a common count to calculate the priority you can also use that option set map content this is the content that you want to include on your site map um, over here I just leave the ones that I already have which is include home page posts and static pages you might actually want to include your category page on your site map if you actually want uh, Google or Bing to crawl it uh, archives author pages tab pages is really something that I never included on my site map uh, it's quite useless but it's really up to you um, okay so that's the options that I use over here exclude items you can also exclude specific categories for example over here you can see that I excluded and categorized because quite honestly it's just a category that I never use for my blogs so I just don't want that uh, and categorize or this category appearing in my sitemap okay also you can exclude posts and for this you need to have the ID of the page that you want to exclude many times you might have a post that 
you don't want the the crawlers to actually crawl so for you to exclude that page you need to find the ID and how do you do that really simple you go to your to your back office once again I gotta go over here I go to all of my posts and for me to see the ID which is a number I just over the post that I want and you can see below there is a URL that appears and where you see posts equal to 102 that's exactly the ID and you can see below chocolate cake the ID for this post is 9060 so let's say that I want to exclude this uh, post from appearing on the sitemap I just go over here and I put 100 and 102 and also I want to exclude my chocolate cake posts from appearing on the same map so this is 96 so I put over here a common comma and I just put 96 and that's how you can exclude specific posts that you don't want appearing on your side map okay change frequencies uh, over here you can set how many times you actually update uh, specific pages on your website your home page like be daily if it's a home page like mine which is static quite honestly it's something that I don't actually update much I'm just going to leave it monthly the post is quite differently because I might actually receive more comments over there so I'm going to put over here let's say weekly if you have a, a post uh, or you have a post that receive a lot of comments then you might actually want to change it to daily or even hourly uh, static pages I'm just going to put monthly because it's quite something that I don't change much and uh, categories I'm just going to leave weekly archives it's really not important and the ones that appear below okay priority this is the importance that you give to your website pages homepage being the one that I give the most importance because 0, 0.0 is that means that you really don't give any importance to that page and 1.0 it means that you give a lot of importance to that page and you can pretty much change the, the priorities, priorities over here to whatever you want but quite honestly I consider the options that you have over here are pretty good okay so once this is done all you just need to do is update options and you're done. That's how simple it is to actually create a set map for your website. Once this is done, you really don't need to worry about anything else. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That has been helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can receive our fresh new content. You just need to click on the subscribe button appearing below uh, from this video just click over there so you can receive our latest updates and also if you have any question related to this video just leave a comment below and I will try to reply as soon as possible so that is all for now and stay tuned with Pro Tutorials. bye